In this tutorial, we will discuss how to rotate an object in 3ds Max. To begin, let's create a cylinder. Click on the Create tab, Geometry, Cylinder. In the Perspective view, press and hold down the left mouse button and drag outward. Release the mouse button, drag your mouse upward, and then click your left mouse button again. This will create a cylinder. Let's turn our cylinder into a solid into each one of our views. Click in the front view and press F3 on the keyboard. Let's click in the top view press F3 and let's click in the left view and press F3. We're now going to rotate this cylinder 90 degrees because sometimes in 3ds Max or when you're designing something in 3D you start out with a shape but you want that shape to be positioned a certain way before we begin to rotate, let's turn on the angle snap toggle, this icon here. This will allow us to see the degree of the angles as we rotate the object so that we can be more precise. Now let's click on the select and rotate tool and that is right here and notice when we click on this tool we get a direction gizmo around our object in each one of our views we're going to start in the perspective view and to do that we are going to click in the perspective view once and let's uh, make it full screen by holding down the alt key and pressing the letter W. Now if you take your mouse cursor and click back on the cylinder we get the directional gizmo and we can see here that we can rotate our object based on our three axes X, Y, and Z. Notice as I put my mouse cursor on an axis it's highlighted in yellow but the corresponding axis is highlighted in red as well so right now I'm working with the x-axis if I put my mouse cursor here I'm now working with the y-axis and if I put my cursor here I'm now working with the z-axis I want to rotate my cylinder forward 90 degrees so I'm going to be working with my x-axis here so as I put my mouse cursor on the x-axis, it's highlighted in yellow, hold down the left mouse button and then drag your mouse downward. You will see the cylinder start to rotate. And notice it shows us using the numbers up top, as you can see I'm at 20 degrees, it shows us at what degree I'm rotating my cylinder in increments of 5. I want to go 90 degrees so I'm going to keep dragging my, my, my mouse down until I get to 90 degrees 85 and 90. Let's say now I want to rotate it 90 degrees on the y-axis so that the cylinder is is positioned this way instead of this way. I can do that with the z-axis. So I'm going to take my mouse cursor, place it here, hold down the left mouse button and then drag my mouse to the right and as you can see I'm now rotating the cylinder 
90 degrees to the right. Now hold down the Alt key and press the letter W and let's take a look at how this works from our other views. Let's say I wanted to rotate the cylinder from my left view and I wanted to rotate it on the Z axis. I can do that by placing my mouse cursor here hold down my left mouse button and drag my mouse down and you can see that I'm going to rotate 90 degrees but notice how it is also rotating it and how it looks in my other three views now if I wanted to rotate the cylinder from my front view using my y-axis I could rotate it here hold down my left mouse button do that and drag the mouse downward as you can see it begins to rotate at a 90 degree angle 80 85 90 this functionality is available with any object that you introduce into 3ds Max and it's a great way to position your objects so that they create the model or the effect that you're trying to create thank you